brought it up right off the bat. So, um, let's start with this. I'll start with his question. He said, I know it's a topic, but please tell me what the hell Dak is thinking turning down that contract. So, let's go on and get you guys caught up to date, okay? Report came out late, late last night, early this morning, whatever it was, that Dak Prescott had turned down a five-year, $175 million contract from the Dallas Cowboys, which on average would pay him $35 million a year. That would be the highest pay contract for any quarterback in the history of the NFL, for any player in the history Not of the enough. NFL. And the rumor was that he had turned it down because in the last year of his deal, he was looking at north of $45 million. Yep. Now, if he had turned that down, that would be absolutely absurd. I think we can both agree on that, right? Not if he did turn it down. No, here's the thing. Uh, the report came out that the Cowboys never actually offered that. So I think it was a, a rogue report. Now, is there maybe some truth to it? That it, maybe it wasn't offered, but it was talked about. They had been negotiating it, and that's what it looked like it was going to be? That's what we've heard forever, though. I mean, like, before million? the offseason ended, they were talking about they were comfortable at $35 million a year, and Dak said he wanted forty at the time. He wanted forty, so they were only $5 million a year apart, $25 million. Now they're $50 million apart. Dak done... He had swole up a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm worth more than I thought I was. Frank Schwab over at Yahoo Sports uh, just wrote this at 2 p.m. Central today. So about uh, two and a half hours to go. He said, uh, Dak Prescott's going to get paid at some point, and it'll likely be from the Dallas Cowboys. Until then, there are likely to be many conflicting reports about how much Prescott wants, how much the Cowboys are willing to give, and how long the deal will be. A report from former NFL quarterback Chris Sims of NBC Sports Drew some interest on Thursday night. He reported Prescott turned down a five-year, $175 million contract. Sims added that Prescott wants the final year to be more than $45 million. While that generated a lot of discussion, the Cowboys and Prescott's representative made sure to get the word out that it was not true. Um, They didn't make that reported proposal, and both sides agreed that that was not what was was put out there. So, you know, Ian Rappaport, um, he... He got word as well that that wasn't actually what happened. Had that actually been the deal, um, I mean, it, you you have to take it, right? Like, am, am, I, am I crazy on this? That's a ton of money. Dak Prescott has played in one playoff game his entire life, I believe. I think he, I think two, and he's one and one, right? I don't. I didn't know he'd ever won one. No, he he won one, and then they lost to the Rams. I thought. I'll double check that. I'll double check that. Give, give me your thoughts here. Like, what, you know, if you're offered that contract, you, uh, here, how about this? I'll jump into the comments first. McKinnon said, everything I've read or listened to said he's trying to compensate for inflation and quarterback salaries in five years. Still don't know that he's worth it then. He's no MVP. Joseph Gomez said, is Dak's agent the same as Mahomes' agent as he could be making sure he's not underselling his ceiling? Um, if you are trying to set the market for you know, four or five years from now, I, I don't. I don't think that works. I don't think you can do that. Um, if you're Mahomes, maybe, but Dak Prescott at this point has not really proven anything. Like I, I, I don't think I'm crazy in saying that. Like I, if I'm the Cowboys and and he did actually, there it is. Didn't Dak win a playoff game against Seattle when the Hawks kicker was injured? I think that's what yes. happened. Yes. No, he's actually played in three. He played in three. He played in one his rookie year. And yep. then uh and then yeah, he he won he won the the Seahawk game. That's right. Yep. And then lost to the Rams. I forgot I forgot after. about his rookie year. Yep. So so three playoff games. One and two. Hadn't looked fantastic, really. I mean he's 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 good. He's he's had flashes of looking very very good, yes, and he's had flashes of looking very mediocre, which is what average quarterbacks do. They have games where they look outstanding, and they have games where they look very mediocre. I.e., Ryan Fitzpatrick comes to mind, oh, 100%. where he's thrown five hundred plus yards, six hundred yard games, and four or five touchdowns, and then he's had games with. 
three or four picks and 200 yards. If you look at two years ago, or was it last year? Was it last year or two years ago that the first two games of the year, they put up like 40, 50 points? It was and, last year, but they, they also played two really, really, really bad teams. Well, no, we didn't I mean, know he, that when they played them, by the way. No, one of them was, uh, was the Saints. Like I mean, he beat the the crap out of the Saints. You talking about Ryan Fitzpatrick? Yes, when he was oh, with the no, Bucks. No, I thought we were it was two years about the ago. Cowboys and Dak. No, it was two okay. years ago. Fitzpatrick. Yes, that like, was two years ago. Yeah. So it, at that point, I mean, two games in, you're thinking Ryan Fitzpatrick is it, that was the Fitz magic stuff, right? That's right. Yep. That's what you're thinking is holy crap, he's going to make a bajillion dollars. But the no, issue but is, we, but hang on, everybody we knew already he knew he wasn't going to make a bajillion dollars, right? We because knew the, what the, we were seeing was amazing. But it won't sustain because we've seen him do that before. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I don't know why Dak is any different whatsoever. I, I think the $35 million a year for five years for Dak is probably an okay market. I don't know that Dak's a terrible quarterback. I, I think Dak's a very, very, very good quarterback. Yes. But but I, I'm going to tell you this. You pay him $45 million a year. Then, then the rest of your team is going to suffer, and oh, he's not going to be—he's not good enough to carry you. Now you do have good wide receivers that are signed. You do have Zeke Elliott that's signed. Your offensive line been pretty good. Your defense over the last three, four years has been pretty good. Um, they've no, had to deal the, with some injuries. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That defense is not going to be great. That defense, they just let a bunch of guys go, right? Because right. They couldn't sign them. What I'm saying over the years, it's been pretty good. Right, so you would hope that the guys that you've brought in and your defensive coaching staff that Mike McCarthy has brought in, you would hope that they would be pretty good. You're hoping, right? Um, right now, though, I like this is just absolutely amazing to me that these are the kind of numbers for a quarterback of Dak's caliber. Like I, I don't see it. I just, it, it, I've watched him. You can't if you watch football, you can't get away from watching the Dallas Cowboys. I don't see where he is worth that kind of money. He's he's I I don't think he is. And the problem is is because of the weapons that he has around him, he's going to perform at a much higher level now. We we talked about this all the time. Everybody, you know, Aaron Rodgers doesn't have help. Russell Wilson doesn't have a lot of help. Tom Brady never had a lot of help, but those guys are always elite. And always performed extremely well. And you can't name five receivers that they've ever thrown to in their lives. You can name two. You can sometimes name three. But you can't name five. No. Okay? And Dak has had the deck stacked for him. Well, for the last two years. Remember Dak? No, man. Right no. when he came in the league, that, that, that team, when, he, when Romo hurt his back, that team was loaded and yes. ready to make a run. And then it took until Amari Cooper came in before Dak even looked good again. Like, but I remember. they were still good. They still had weapons. He just didn't yeah. perform with them. Dez was always an elite wide receiver. Like they, like they still had plenty of weapons there. That Amari Cooper isn't the isn't the saving grace of the Dallas Cowboys. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is Dak did not look good again after that rookie season until. No. Until they got Amari Cooper. And that's when everything changed for him. Now, Amari didn't do anything last year. It was all Gallup. But, I mean, good gracious, he he looked as mediocre as you can possibly get up until they made that trade with the Raiders. And then the top came off and the offense absolutely exploded. So, you know, and then the year after that, Amari came back down to earth. Dak came back down to earth. They They were pretty good last year. They weren't world beaters by any stretch of the imagination. So, uh, let's jump into the comments here. Michael said, uh, what has Dak accomplished to make him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL? Four years, one playoff win. He plays well in the lead and beats up on bad teams. Dak is the new Kirk Cousins. That's a... a well, hang on. I'll tell you this. I think he's trying to beat Kirk, though. That That's the guy I think he's trying to play out his franchise tag, see if they have the nuts to franchise tag you again, and really get to free agency. Because even if it's not the Cowboys, see, that report from Yahoo, I disagree with. I think somebody might pay him his money, but I don't think it's going to be the Cowboys. I think at some point in time, you rub a team the wrong way. We're giving you everything you want. You want to take your ass up to Green Bay and try to go play with the misfits they got up there? You get one good receiver. That's it. 
Congratulations. Yeah. Be good. Go go see if that money works for you. Uh, Michael said half of Dak's touchdowns last year were against the Giants and Redskins. Uh, yep. He said Dak is better than Dalton, but Dak can't carry the Cowboys alone, and with that salary, he would have to. Dalton, with a good line, weapons outside, and arguably the best running back in the game, can get you to the playoffs with a puncher's chance at a Super Bowl. Save the Dak money, put it on your defense. Yep. I think that's the smart move. I, like, I, I, I think that there's going to be a rift. Everyone who just assumes this deal is going to get done, I, I don't know. If he wants to test real true free agency, now, it, it could come back to bite him in the ass, by the way. Oh, it absolutely could come back yes. to bite him if he goes out to free agency and the market shows everybody wants to pay him $130 million over five years or, or maybe maybe he only gets four years because he's lost this year or whatever. And 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 but it's he's around, you know, thirty to thirty five million dollars a year. He's gonna look like a fool. Oh, a hundred percent. We've seen plenty of players try to test the agency market, the free agency market, and and they came back and they didn't get the numbers they were hoping for. Oh, yes. It's happened uh, before. Le'Veon Bell. I yeah, mean, Le'Veon it, Bell's a big one. I mean, he he thought he was worth way more than what the Steelers were willing to give him. Uh turned out not the case. What what he, he could do with is is Kirk Cousins deals where they might pay him a lot of money, but they'll give him two year deals because that's what Cousins deals have been a hundred percent guarantee. We're going to bring you in your whole contract guarantee. You're the first one ever, but it's a three year deal. Well, the Redskins franchise tagged him what like three years in a row, two just two just, just two. two. If they would have done it in the third year, it would have been such a high tax. It would have been insane. Yeah, they would they, they would have been paying him like. Thirty-eight million dollars a year. They, I mean, they were already paying him like thirty million in the in the second. And that was and that was a year where the league average is is like twenty. I mean, at some point in time, it gets to a point where you just can't do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Joseph Gomez said, "Is Dak the next Brian Greasy, just slightly better than average quarterback?" Uh, maybe. I mean, that that's the thing. Like he has shown flashes of being really good. Has he shown flashes of being able to uh, lead a team when there's no weapons? Uh, no. I mean. That's not what he is. Like he, he's and there's not. a lot of those teams out here in the league. Yeah, I mean, good gracious. Uh, Michael said, "When is paying? Uh, when has paying one player that much money actually worked out?" I'd even argue that paying Mahomes would do more harm than good for the Chiefs. Well, here's the deal: you you're gonna have to pay Mahomes. Like, you got no choice. You got no choice on that one. Um, it, but I, but Mahomes is is different than Dak. Like, I think Dak oh. needs a good line. He needs a good running back, et cetera. I think you could toss just about anybody back there with the Chiefs, yep. and they'll be fine because Mahomes is is that kind of franchise changer. I don't think Dak is that. I think 25 quarterbacks could be very good quarterbacks in the NFL at, at playing in Dallas right now. I really believe that. Yeah. I I, I believe I believe that if you took Josh Rosen, the the misfit child that just seems to not be able to find a home, and Josh Rosen was to get an honest, fair shot at playing behind the Dallas Cowboys right now with the weapons they have constructed. I think he would be very good. I think I don't so know too. that he would be great. I'm not saying he'd win a Super Bowl, but I think he would be good. I think. But he would I don't be think fine. they. I don't think they win a Super Bowl with Dak. Yeah, I don't either. You know, I, I, like I really think for what you paid Andy Dalton. I mean, take your shot. Like, I, would, just, I would like good. I would. The problem is, is free agency is already over for this year, so you've punted on the defense. You can't just go out and buy defensive players that you could have because you've waited on this. So this is all strategy and moves for next year. I let me bring now, up the something. problem is, is Andy ain't going to be there for for three million dollars next year. Oh no, 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 he's he's not. Well, especially not if he plays fairly well this year. If he gets yeah, uh, if, he, the if he gets playing time or gets the head uh, the the starting job, then you know. I of course, to, if he gets a starting job, his deal goes up to seven million, but still a drop in the bucket. According to odds makers over at Fox Bet, I, I wanted to read this off to you. It's it, kind of interesting. Uh, actually, before we do that, uh, my, McKinnon said Dak is very similar to Garoppolo or Goff. They have to have weapons around him to succeed. He's a high B quarterback, but not an A like Russell Rogers, Brady, Mahomes, Ryan, etc. Uh, he had to throw in Matt Ryan. I see that. I see what you did. Uh, he's worth thirty million a year, but if I was an owner. Um, I don't know if I could pay much more than $35 million a year for him. If he doesn't succeed this year, he's out. I'd just leave him on the tag and see how it goes uh, if it was my team. Um, and then Michael said, hey, hey, let's not beat up on Brian Greasy. Yeah, we know. We know. It is what it is. Fox Bet tweeted this out a couple of hours ago. Dak Prescott at quarterback is worth four points on the spread over Andy Dalton. Now, one, do you agree with that? 
I don't think I agree with that. They thought what now? That, they said Dak Prescott at quarterback is worth four points on the spread over Andy Dalton. I don't know that I agree with that. I probably agree with that. So that would mean this season, as it stands right now, because they've got odds laid out, you know, all through the season, and obviously these will change, et cetera. But right now, with Dak Prescott, the Cowboys are favored in 11 games. They are underdogs in five. If they roll with Andy Dalton, they are favorites in four games, underdogs in 10, and they're a pick them in two games. That, that makes perfect. I think that's exactly right. You think there would be a seven-game difference there? Yeah. You're talking about point spreads, Gary, not real true outcomes. Point spreads are better's perception. Do you think the general public would need a lot more points to bet uh, on the Cowboys? You've got a okay. You've got a valid point. Listen, I'm, we're not predicting outcomes. That's not what Vegas does. They're getting 50-50 margins on the bets. Yeah. And so if you've got Andy Dalton. How, back much, there, how many points do they have to give the Cowboys to make you say, All right, I'll ride with Dalton? I mean, that's that's a good point. I like, right now, people I, have faith in Dak and has no faith in Dalton. None whatsoever. McKinnon said, hey, now, Matt Ryan is an A-minus quarterback. He would succeed on any team. He may not be a Hall of Famer, but he's still a 90 or 92 on Madden. <laughs> Michael said, his Dak surrounded himself with a bunch of hype men. Someone close to him needs to give him a reality check. Uh, here's the thing. Again, I think he's trying to get to free agency. That's what I really yeah. think. I think he is trying to do what Kirk Cousins did because Kirk Cousins, over the last six, seven years, has made more money than anyone else in the NFL in that window of time, and he's done very little. I also think that this has something to do with Dak Prescott only making, you know, what, total $3 million over the last four years? That's part of being a third-round draft pick, Exactly. Though. And it, was he – no, he was like – Fourth or fifth or whatever, what, like whatever. Russell Wilson but that's the even same less thing. money. Yeah, I mean Russell, like it. it but Russell, Russell won a Super Bowl it. on his rookie deal. That's the thing. Russell won he a went Super to Bowl. another Super Bowl on his rookie deal. Dak hadn't even sniffed one. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just crazy, just crazy to me. Uh, Joseph said basically Dalton gets field goal while Dak gets the touchdown for a series. Still sounds low for teams with better uh, better defenses. Yeah, I mean it is what it is. Uh, we've talked enough about Dak Prescott. It, it's it, you want you want to give one final uh, comment on it. I mean, I think I I think what what I believe to be happening is what I think is happening. I think he's trying to get to free agency. He will sign no extensions unless he is grossly overpaid and he wants to get to a real free agent market. He wants to get past the uh, um whatever it is. The franchise season. Franchise, the franchise tag. He wants to get past the franchise tag, and he wants to hit the open market. Yeah. Because that's can. where he thinks he can get the most money. Okay. And and we'll see. We'll see if it ends up biting him. But Well, uh, it could help him because if he blows up this year, because that team is loaded. If CD comes in there and CD adds any amount of explosivity to that team, which I think he will. Yeah. I already believe in Gallup. I think Gallup's an unbelievable player. They, they've got three receivers that beat any other three receivers in the league. Uh, Michael I, Michael asked, can they franchise tag him next year? Yes. They just got to pay a bigger tax. It's a yeah. much bigger number. It's a much bigger number. That's what happened with Kirk Cousins. So what happened with Kirk Cousins. He got franchise tagged twice. And so if you want to do that and not have a future set up, then absolutely. 